Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are looking at a brand new release from By Terry. This is the brand new By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Balm. It is a nude, nat neutral lip shine with hyaluronic acid. There's those skin ingredients again that are so popular lately. Hyaluronic acid probably being the most popular. Works really well on the lips to naturally plump and hydrate the lips. It is vegan. There are six shades of nude so that you can either go with your own lips but better look or you can darken your lips or even give them a little bit of a lighter sheen. Like I said, six shades, $38 each. It is a brand new release on the By Terry website. Um, I am all bronzed up because to me this feels really summery. Maybe I'm just still thinking about the By Terry Beach Balm, which I'm also wearing today. But I just felt really sunshiny talking about these really light coverage balms. And so I just kind of bronzed up a lot today and it looks a little funny because I don't have anything on my lips because we are going to try these on together. We're also going to compare them to some of the most obvious and most recent comparisons on the market. There are quite a few, and I'm sure you'll be able to think of some more. When I do comparisons, I don't go back too, too far, or we would, as I always say, be here all day, but I'm gonna try to get the major ones in for you that I'm guessing you're wondering about. So this contains a what's called a water gloss complex. I don't know what that is either, but they say that with one coat, you just get some pretty coverage and with two coats, it builds a little bit more. Um, there's three different shades that I purchased. I don't know why I paused there. Of the six shades, I bought half the collection. I bought shade one, which is called Sexy Nude. We're gonna look at these. Shade two, which is called Nudissimo. <laughs> and shade four, which is called Dare to Bear. I tried to get kind of a little bit of a breath of them there while still keeping it to a nude look. We are all looking for your lips, but better. It's a constant search. So I want to try them on and do a double lip swatch with you guys. But first, I want to show you some comparisons and some arm swatches. The first thing I want to show you right away is the arm swatches of the three shades from the new by Terry Hyaluronic Balm that I picked up. So let's take a look at that. On the left, we have shade one, Sexy Nude, shade two, Nudissimo, and shade four, Dare to Bear. Those are the three that I am showing you right there. So as you see, they're a very, very shiny light balm with hyaluronic acid to kind of help, like I said, plump our lips. But let's compare them to a few others. And, and you know what comes to mind first, just because of the name, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kisses. I chose three of those. This is not a brand new release, but new enough. I chose three of those to compare because I wanted you to kind of see. Um, the Charlotte product's about the same price. By Terry, as you know, is pricey at $38, and the Charlotte is $34 each. And I just grabbed three of them to show you here. So I want to go to that swatch. On the left, I left the By Terry swatches. And then on the right is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, on the right there, from the left, on the right, is Enchanted Kiss. Happy Petal and Pillow Talk. Those were the three from my Happy Kiss collection that I pulled out just to show you. The Charlotte Tilbury lip shades are a lot more like a gloss made into a lipstick, which is what the brand intended when Charlotte Tilbury released these. So these are a little bit, they're definitely glossy and shiny, but they're a little bit more lipstick-like with a little bit more coverage than the By Terry product, which is called and meant to be simply a balm. These both, the Charlotte Tailberry and the By Terry, have the hyaluronic acid ingredient in it to plump and moisturize lips and make it very comfortable. And though the next two comparisons don't necessarily include hyaluronic acid, they do um, include oils and natural skin elements to also help the lips. And the first one that I thought of was the Victoria Beckham Posh Lipsticks. And I grabbed three of mine from my collection to compare as well. So let's go to those swatches. I left the By Terry on the left. And then on the right, from left to right, we have the Victoria Beckham uh, collection in Pose, and then Sway, and then Pout. 
all the way right. These are much more of a lipstick. These are not meant to be a balm, but they do have that slight sheen to them and that comfort. And also, I couldn't help but compare the way that the tubes look, these kind of long skinny tubes. And if you look at Charlotte's Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, it's the same thing. All of these type of products seem to come in this really long, narrow, lip balm-like tube, Victoria Beckham being no exception. Now the Victoria Beckham Poshes Back lipsticks here do not claim to have hyaluronic acid, but they are really comfortable on the lips, have that natural shine, they're not a matte lip, and they just seem quite similar. The other thing that came to mind that I wanted to look at that doesn't claim skincare benefits, but definitely has oils, and I actually think might be the closest to the by Terry, and that is the Pat McGrath Labs Divinal Lip Shine. So I love these Divinal Lip Shines. They come in this pink case right here, and I have a bunch of them, but I grabbed three just to show you that they are a little bit more saturated. So let's take a look here on the left in this swatch. I, I left my by Terry three, and then I added Nude Venus by Pat McGrath, Bella Moore, and Temptress, which is a much darker shade. There are a lot of these out there. I know that Kosas did some with hyaluronic acid and a few others, I think maybe Dior. So there are more out there, but I was really concentrating on these kind of long, tall, shine, balm, a little kiss of color, but not necessary, necessarily a full-blown lipstick. And if you're looking for that, the By Terry product is definitely the best at that um, in terms of just giving it that little kiss of color. But we're going to talk about the wearability as well. I want to do a really quick try on. That's me moving my mirror here. I'm going to start with number one, which is the number one shade, which is called Sexy Nude. This is very, very transparent on me, but I wanted to show you me trying it on with one, two, and then three. So here it is again, though you have seen it. It's beautiful in the tube and has a little emboss. It's a little bit of an embossment. Embossment? Is that a word? It is now. It's embossed, I should say, on the tip. I don't know if the camera picks that up. This is a very, very pretty nude. It is really definitely for fair skin or just to add a little bit of shine. And I'm going to do it, put it on right now. So this is, you barely need a mirror. One coat, both lips. You do not have to be careful <laughs> because it is really a bomb. You could throw this in your bag and throw this on and just kind of keep going and barely use it. And you can apply it like a, almost like it is a lip balm with barely any shade to it. It is extremely comfortable. I'm going to try on some of the darker shades here. I'm going to take this off and try on some darker shades, um, but it doesn't last forever. It's got a very high shine content. It's very pretty. It will definitely last for two hours, two, three hours. It will not last, however, through eating anything. But that's the nature of the beast with these kind of lip products. When they have a little bit more color to them, um, they do a little bit better. But this shade especially is super easy to put on and reapply. So that part of it's great. Um, but it's not going to last you a whole long time. And of course, it will if you put a lip pencil underneath. All right, let's try, let's move up in our shades and get a little bit darker here. Stay right there. Okay, shade two. Shade two is called Nudissimo, but it's also called shade two. Again, very, very pretty in the bullet. And let me also compliment by Terry, these go up and they come back down. That was all of our complaint with the Charlotte Tilbury product, beautiful product, horrible packaging that you couldn't roll back down. Like, the, were, the, were, the, were the roll back down people out sick that day? Like, I just don't get why it doesn't roll back down. Okay, but the By Terry does. Let's try shade two. Four on the bottom there. Here is just one on the top. Four on the bottom lip, one on the top. Mixing it together, adding a little more. This gets much pinker again, 
barely, barely needed my mirror, as you saw. Very wearable, very summery. That's why I bronzed up so much. By the way, for this video, if you're wondering, another part of my bronze, I used the By Terry Beach Balm, but I also went ahead and mixed that new Drunk Elephant, the, um, the Oblos Rosy Drops with the, um, I told you guys I was going to do this, with the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. So I really am like really summer ready here and the weather outside in California agrees with me. All right, we're gonna go to darker because that was shade one and two and I also picked up shade four. No offense to shade three, but I skipped it. Let's do shade four. Okay. Shade four, which is also called Dare to Bear. So shade four for me, you're gonna see a little bit more color on my lips. And for somebody that might have a darker natural toned lip, this will be more like a nude. All of these six shades are meant to be nude or neutral shades, which we really can't necessarily say for the others, although the term neutral kind of loses its meaning. One, two swipes back and forth on the bottom lip. One on the top, two on the bottom lip, one on the top. Still super easy to apply, even without a mirror. I'm using a mirror. But I really wouldn't have to. This is my favorite of the three. I actually wish, and I encourage you, if you are purchasing some, to even go, if you can, more into the five and six because it's still so light and pretty with that shine. Look at that shine. It's just superior shine. It's still so light and so pretty, but um, I like a little bit more of an impact. Um, this is really for the per ones that I purchased, the darkest level, whereas our comparisons with Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath, and Victoria Beckham, they get a lot more impact with the shade much quicker. These are not meant to have that, as this, as you know, is number four, and we only have two darker, but they will go dark, and I'm thinking perhaps of picking um, some of those darker shades up. So easy to wear, so pretty, and I just feel really summery. It really feels like there's nothing on your lips, but um, just a bit of shine. Now, some of you might ask me about the scent because By Terry products often has, have that kind of the rosy scent to them. There is a slight, slight, sweet, gentle fragrance. It is nothing that will hit you over the head. It, was, it, was, it is nothing that will annoy you. It is right here by my nose and I cannot smell it, which means it dissipates right away. So if you are wondering about that, you are safe. Um, whereas if you do like scent, it has a very pleasant scent when in the tube. But the minute it goes on the lips, the second it goes on the lips, I should say, it completely dissipates. Um, there's no irritation or anything like that. Like I said earlier, these will last you a good two hours or so, but you'll need to reapply like any other balm, and they don't last through eating. But you can certainly make the uh, a little bit more of an impact if you put a lip pencil underneath. These are another beautiful release from By Terry. A little bit pricey, but incredibly elegant in the packaging. Um, they twist up and twist down, let me just say. Who would ever think I would have to say that, but they do, um, compared to the Charlotte. And they are just a lovely buy and such an amazingly beautiful brand. I feel like wearing by Terry that I am ready for a Paris summer. So uh, let me know what you think. Did you know that these were released? They're really new to the market. So tell me your thoughts on these kind of lip products and do you have any of the others we compared it to? Are you interested in picking up one of these from By Terry? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I sure hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, I would be thrilled if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.